welcome to history class today i am going to teach you history of a standard 8 chapter 7 civilizing the native and educating the nation then at this time british wanted to civilize the native the people of india and he wanted to educate the nation for this what they do then let's uh, uh study from the text in detail okay then we get to study so civilizing the native educating the nation adayidu a natives and local people ne civilize parishkarike le civilize and education educating the nation and what uh, for this what they do in this uh, earlier chapter you have seen how british rule affected rajas and nawabs and what happened to the peasants and tribes in this chapter we will try to understand the lives what changes occurred in the lives of students uh, for british in india wanted not only territorial conquest or control over revenues but they wanted to civilize the natives that is they wanted to change the customs and values of the native people and then in this chapter we want to study this uh, how they civilize the natives and this uh, let's start the tradition of orientalism they wanted a new ideas orientalism in 1783 a person named william jones arrived in calcutta he had an appointment as a junior judge in supreme court and had a company had set up and in 1783 what happened william jones came to calcutta can you see this one ah the picture of a william jones and he came to calcutta and as a junior judge at the supreme court he was a linguist linguist means someone who knows several languages adayadu pala bhashagala ariyavana vyakti adana linguist and william jones know about or studied about greek latin english french arabic persian and sanskrit he know many languages including sanskrit also then he came to india and still soon he was studying the ancient indian text like a law philosophy religion politics morality arithmetic medicine and other sciences he when he came to india he wanted to study about the ancient uh, indian texts especially religion politics etc all these he wanted to study then the english man like uh, henry thomas colbert broke and nathaniel halfet were discovering the ancient indian heritage and they and along with him um uh, two men also uh, community him that is a uh, henry thomas colbrook and nathaniel halhead they also wanted to master in the indian language and uh, they wanted to translate the sanskrit and persian works into english and that is sanskrit le edirikkana bhasha edella a english like tarjuma cheyam ennal mathrame endha edire edu vechirikkana namukku manasilavathu so john set up a asiatic society of bengal and uh, he started a journal called asiatic researches then as for this uh, he set up an association asiatic society and uh, he also also started a journal that's name is asiatic research then so jones and colbrook went about uh, discovering ancient texts understanding their meaning translating them and making their finding known to others no other they wanted to translate all this so it was uh, good also help indians to rediscover their own heritage and understand the lost glories in the past they it help the indians to know about the past or um, culture and in this process and british would become a guardians of english indian culture as well as its masters and in this process they wanted to learn about more things in india and in its culture and heritage and this uh, they became the are uh, the masters of our culture and guardians of our culture and so for this they wanted to promote western learning for this they set up so many institutions and wanted to uh, teach sanskrit and persian liter uh, literature and poetry then 
put this object in the view, they started a madrasa. Madrasa in Calcutta in 1781. What is a madrasa? It is an Arabic word. It is a place of learning. That is a, a type of school or a college that is madrasas. Then, and uh, then he also the study of Arabic, Persian and Islamic law. And the Hindu college established at Benares in 1791 and to encourage the study of ancient Sanskrit text and it would be useful for administration of the country. All this uh, they wanted to study because they wanted to administer the country well. Uh, they wanted to study. Here is a monument of a Warren Hastings. Can you see this one? This, this image represents the Orientalist and thought of a British power in India. You will see a majestic fig figure of a uh, Hastings, William Hastings. Hmm? And he was a supporter of an Orientalist. He was a suppo also a supporter of Orientalist. And uh, he is placed between a standing figure of a Pandit. Can you see this uh, picture of a Pandit here? Pandit. And uh, other side, can you see, seated a Munshi on the other side. What is a Munshi? A person who can read and write, teach person. And uh, teach person. He was called as a Munshi. Munshi was uh, sitting there. And uh, a pandit was in the left side, and uh, in between, uh, you can you see this a uh, picture of a uh, Warren Hastings. And uh, <coughs> then, gave errors in the past from Oriental Orientalist. What is a Orientalist? Those with a scholarly knowledge of the language and culture of uh, Asia. Okay? Asia is language and knowledge, and it enriches the culture. Of culture and uh, what they said uh, from the early 19th century many British officials began to criticize Orientalist vision of learning. Upon British uh, 19th century uh, Orientalist ideas are uh, criticized uh, that is a uh, knowledge from Asia that is a uh, short and uh, that knowledge of East was full of errors and unscientific thought. They consider the knowledge of uh, East was Full of errors. That is, the knowledge of the world is full of errors. That is, the knowledge of the world is full of errors. That is, the British. So, James Mill was one of those uh, who attacked the Orientalist. The Orientalism ideas were attacked in the main alarm. James Mill. Hmm? And um, by 1830s, the attack on Orientalist became sharper. One of the most outspoken uh, critics of this time was Thomas Babington Macaulay. Uh, James Mill also criticized the Orientalist. He was supported by another man that is Babington Macaulay. Have you heard about him? Uh, Macaulay sir. He was an Indian. India as an uncivilized country. Macaulay says that India is an uncivilized country. No, no. Parishkara on the other side. That is full of uh, superstition sex. That's why. And then he wanted to be civilized. His aim was to civilize the people of India. And he, de uh, Macaulay declared that. And a single shelf of a good European um, library was worth the whole native literature of India and Arabia. But they have in the England library, Europe library, and the knowledge. Uh, India is a modern literature, Arabia is a modern literature, Ukanda Polu, Dagatilana, Patrakin, and well knowledge we get from European library. Hmm? Then Nicole emphasized the need of teach English language. He wanted to uh, emphasize the need of teaching English language. Upon English language, he wanted to promote English language in India. Then English would allow Indians to read some of the finest literature in the world. To know a, to English or to know the knowledge of English, you can uh, get enough knowledge from the literature in the world. Allah English I can Padichal Matramagina. And so in the developments of Western science and philosophy, teaching of a English would uh, the a way to civilizing people and change the taste, values and culture. He also says that uh, the teach English would civilize the people and uh, it also changed the taste of a people and it enriched the values of the people 
and also promote the culture of our, our nation. That's it. Says about this Lord Macaulay. Then Macaulay's minutes. These uh, ideas were called uh, uh, Macaulay's minutes. English Education Act in 1835 was introduced. And uh, the decision was to make English medium of instruction for higher education and stop promotion of over institutions like uh, Calcutta, Madrasa or Benares Sanskrit College. He wanted to uh, in, in, uh, to make or he wanted to the promotion of English education and the medium of instru instruction was on English language in a higher education and the promotion to stop the promotion of the Calcutta Madrasa and Benares Sanskrit College. Upon he wanted all this, uh, we know that uh, he wanted to promote English language. The English language in a Padipoji Pritha Matrame, India Kare. Ah, civilized the Agotolu, Yella, Kiring Logatil, Sampanga, Logatile, Pradana Arivula, and then English language would have Patulu, Yena Ivor and Lord Macaulay. And he says that Indian institutions were the temples of darkness. And then Indian institutions in the name, it's a temple of darkness. Hmm? He says that. That's about a Lord Macaulay. Okay, today's lesson is over. You read it well. And uh, you studied about uh, Orientalism, Linguist, what's the ideas of James Mill, what's the uh, vernacular, vernacular, that is a promotion of a uh, local languages, that is a vernacular language. Then, uh, Macaulay's minutes, all this uh, you studied uh, today, okay. Thank you.